Pilford, last year's defending freestyle champ. Dave Stanfield spoke with Pat, who, by the way, had a birthday this week before his routine. First up in their two-minute routine will be Pat Helfrich, who's, have a, who's going for a birthday win here today, aren't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm coming back off last year's championship here, so I got to defend my title. Hopefully everything will go right. I'll get the right water conditions and uh, have it again this year. Well, the birthday boy certainly has his work cut out for him right now, Mark. He's up against some pretty hot hot doggers out there today. That's true, Mike, but if anyone can make it look easy, it's our defending champion, Pat Helford. And he starts off with a big splash, jumping the jet ski from back to front, getting himself in position for the next trick, standing up backwards with his toes on the side rails, throwing a bright wetsuit, isn't he, Mike? Well, it's that uh, jet pilot, Chartreuse. I tell you, you see him all over the place now. You've got to be a good jet skier to wear something like that, Mark. You bet. Pat likes to end with a big backflip over the log jump. Well, he did just that. A big finish, well-executed routine, and Pat was awarded a very substantial score by the judges, 40.6 points. Not bad, Mark. Not bad at all, Mike, but definitely beatable. Pat's routine had a few rough spots. That probably cost him a few points. And this man, Larry Rippenkroger, has yet to compete. Larry, the Ripper Rippenkroger, always a man to be reckoned with in the freestyle event. And here we go. Look at him start it off with a log roll. He liked to start it off with a wild trick and certainly end it with another outstanding trick. Let's see what he can do in the middle. Well, Larry told us earlier he's got some tricks up his sleeves. He took the sleeves off his wetsuit, but I, oh, look at that. He does a 360 spin on top of the jet ski, manages the handlebars, and pulls out of it, Mark. That's amazing. Judge is looking for difficulty of the maneuvers and the execution. Rip and Kroger performing flawlessly so far. And still wears the hat. Never gets the hat wet. Here he goes into a series of spins. Vertical stalls, as we call them, while he's spinning. And uh, look at the arms on this guy. It's all strength, Mark, at this point. I've been watching Larry for at least five or six years, Mike, and no two routines are the same. He's always changing them. Well, he's got a big finish planned, I'm sure, and we're coming to the end of the routine. Makes a hard left turn, and what's going to happen here? He does a flip on the beach. I don't believe it. Oh, the crowd loved that one, Mike. Larry Rippenkroger finishes with a flourish. It's his trademark. And I'm not sure if the flip came off exactly as he wished it to, but nonetheless, his routine earned him 42.5 points, dashing Pat Helfrich's hopes of repeating his champion. But Scott Watkins from Hollywood, Florida, has yet to perform. Scott Watkins, here performing a bulldog maneuver, is another new face on the tour, Mike. He was an unknown expert racing only in the Florida World Cup last year. His forte is slalom. But he's doing a super job here in the freestyle co competition so far. Well, it's hard enough to ride a jet ski with two hands. You saw him let go of the handlebar and raise his left hand almost in victory. So that gives you some clue. Now he's up on the hood cover. A lot of balance. Look at that, kicking his left foot off, riding with one hand. He's got to keep that right hand on the handle pole to keep the throttle. Well, he's maneuvering out of it right now, and I've got a feeling he goes submerged. He's a submarine at one point. He comes out of it. Will he pull it out? Yeah, he does. He powers out of it, Mark. Surprise a lot of fish on that one, Michael. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, a terrific performance by the newcomer from Florida. 44.9 points, Mark. They keep getting better and better. And now we'll see the best. David Flash Gordon from Wayland, Massachusetts. This guy is really something. Just 21 years old, solid muscle, practices all year long, has to break the ice up in Massachusetts, Mike, in order to go out there and practice. Very smooth transition moves. He makes it look easy. He's a clutch performer. And he's had a chance to watch all these other guys perform their tricks, and he's coming up with something new. Look at that move riding backwards now. Well, the, his nickname is Flash, and I'm not sure if it's because he's a great jet skier or because he wears his hot pink wetsuit. Nonetheless, it's David Flash Gordon on the course right now in the uh, freestyle competition. Look at this one-hand 360-degree turn. Very smooth and fluid. David Flash Gordon coming into the final moments now of his routine, and he goes up. He goes under the log, Mark. That's unbelievable. Well, he's a very happy man. Why is he so happy? He knows that he has clinched the victory, as evidenced by that explosive enthusiasm. His execution of the tricks was nearly flawless, topped off by that incredible submarine dive under the log jump. Mark, he's one of the few competitors who has seen that jump from above and below. <laughs> and the judges reward his efforts with an incredible 48.7. Almost a perfect score and the highest score ever achieved in World Finals freestyle competition. Well, he's a very happy man and a great performance it was. Dave Gordon winning the freestyle competition. Scott Watkins, Larry Ripping.